What up, people? Welcome back. This is the sixth episode of uh, my fishing trips. Five to six mile an hour winds today. Sun was out, about 75 degrees. Felt pretty good. Time to pump some gas into the boat. This is a parrotfish we caught. I found out they have over 90 species of parrotfish, ranging from, you know, pink to orange, so many different colors. This mutton snapper was a good size to me. However, we had to check the minimum size on the chart. At times, depending on where the fish bit the hook, it can get a bit tricky, you know, to remove it from his mouth. He had a little trouble with it this time. We always have to act, you know, as swiftly as possible. We don't want the fish to die if it isn't a keeper. Turns out it was one and a half inches too short to put in the cooler, so we had to throw it back. I would have loved to keep it, but you got to follow the regulations. Not because they said so, but but because this particular law makes sense. If If everyone kept fish under the size limit, we'd have a lot less fish in the water. They call this one a lizard fish simply for how it looks underwater. If you ever see one down there, you'll notice that they lay down just like an iguana, waiting for food to swim by them. And they have little sharp, nasty teeth. I don't really like them. We never keep these. This was actually the worst part of the whole fishing trip for me. I love fighting with the fish, but I lost this fight in more ways than I thought. As I was reeling in the snapper, I felt the heart tug like a zzzz. And right away, I don't know what took place. I already knew. it. I mean, on its way up, a shark bit it clean in half and left me with this. 